Hi, my name is Mochin, and this video outlines the necessary steps to set up your macOS for AppSci 160 for UBC. Please follow the steps in sequential order and only move on when you have completed the previous steps. The whole process will take about 50 minutes, give and take a few minutes depending on your network speed. If you have any troubles, please ask a question on Piazza. System Requirements we need to make sure we have at least 4GB of RAM and 30GB of storage. To check, click on the Apple logo on the top left corner and click About This Mac. The first thing that we need to do is to install VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a free software that allows you to run other operating systems such as Windows in your macOS. Head over to the VirtualBox download page through the link in the description or you can search it through Google, select OS 10 host because we're running on Mac OS and the download should begin. This should take a few seconds. Once downloaded, double click the file to open the installation program. Continue through installation using its default settings. It might ask you for password, just enter your macOS password. If this is the first time you're running the installation program, you may be prompted to give permissions to the app. Follow the instructions on screen and click allow when the setting app opens. The installation may fail because it hasn't given the permission, so we need to run the installer program again. As you can see, this time, VirtualBox installs successfully. Now we need to download Windows 10 installation disk. You can search Windows 10 ISO download in your browser or go to the Microsoft website from the link in the description to download the .iso file. Select the edition, which is the latest version, and select the desired language and continue. Make sure you download the 64-bit version of Windows 10. The download is approximately 5 gigabytes. Please make sure you have stable internet connection while this downloads to avoid any cancellation or errors. Once downloaded, do not open the file as it will try to install Windows on your current machine. We'll come back to this later as we set up our virtual machine. Next, we need to obtain the Windows 10 Education License Key provided by the UBC. First, go to it.ubc.ca slash software downloads, link in the description. Scroll down and click Windows 10 Education. This will take you to a store page and you'll need to enter your UBC CWL. On the store page, select Windows 10 and then add to cart. Finally, click checkout. When it prompts you for personal information, such as your email and your signature, just copy the email that's below the text box and type in your name. Enter your contact information when asked. After that is done, they will take you to the accounts page where they will give you the Windows 10 key. The page will look something like this. Please store this code permanently by taking a picture a screenshot or copy the code in your phone as you might need this later. This is also because you cannot get another Windows 10 code as you're only limited to one copy per student per year. Now it's time to set up our virtual machine. First go to your launchpad and start VirtualBox. Next click on new and enter Windows 10 as the name of the machine. Double check that the type is Microsoft Windows and the version is Windows 10 in 64 bits. Hit continue. Allocate 2 gigabytes of RAM at least. Click create and create a new virtual hard disk and use the default parameters. Allocate anywhere between 30 to 50 gigabytes of storage. Note that this step does not suddenly remove a chunk of your storage in your macOS. This step simply limits the uh, maximum storage allocated to your virtual machine. Once finished, 
click Start at the top to start your virtual machine. You may be prompted to give accessibility permissions to VirtualBox in order to proceed. Open the Systems app and continue as, on, as shown on screen. Next, it'll ask for a virtual optical disk to boot from. And this is where we click on that yellow icon and select the ISO file that we just downloaded for Windows 10 installation. If you do not see this dialog window and see something like fatal, no bootable disk or drive, then go to back to VirtualBox and delete the virtual machine by right clicking on it in the sidebar and selecting remove. Then make a new virtual machine using the previous steps. The virtual machine should now boot into the Windows 10 installation disk. On certain Macs with Retina displays, you might find the virtual machine display very small. To make it bigger, go back to VirtualBox and click on Settings, then Display tab and turn up the scaling factor. Notice that the display window is now much bigger. Once you have arrived at this screen, continue with the setup. Click on Install now and you will be prompted to insert the license key or the activation code. Enter the activation code and continue with your installation. If you do not have a code for some reason, click on I don't have a product key and proceed anyway. Your windows will not be affected. The Windows 10 installation will take a while. Select your region and back to more waiting. You will be prompted to log into a Microsoft account. If you have one, enter it now. If you don't, just enter your alumni UBC email or some other non-Microsoft account email and hit enter. If you didn't have a Microsoft account, the hidden Setup Windows with a local account button appears. Click on that. Proceed with local account setup. Enter the security questions and answers. You can use arbitrary answers because we're only using this Windows 10 for Visual Studio. Just continue with the setup until you reach this screen. Congratulations, now you have Windows 10 running in VirtualBox on your Mac OS. Let us now eject the Windows 10 installation disk as we no longer need them. The hardest part is over, but we're not done yet. We need to install some essential software in Windows 10 that help the virtual machine run better in Mac OS. First, go up to the Devices menu in the menu bar and click on Insert Guest Edition CD Image. This will essentially insert a virtual CD disk into your virtual computer. Open the content of the CD and click on VBox Windows Editions. Another installation program will show up. Note that it might be behind the current window, so click on the icon in the taskbar. Continue with the installation. At the end of the installation, you will be prompted to reboot your virtual computer. Once your virtual machine reboots and you log in, notice that the machine runs much smoother. You may also enter full screen now and your virtual machine display will scale up properly. You now have a fully functional Windows 10 running in VirtualBox on your Mac. This concludes the tutorial to setting up Windows 10 on your Mac OS. 
For instructions on how to install Visual Studio, consult the guide listed on the Canvas webpage. Thank you for watching and good luck with your courses.